What's good everybody and out of here back with another Dragon Ball Sparking Zero video and today I am going to be continuing the story mode for Goku. Hey, we back out here. It's been a while since I've actually done this. Oh, so now, okay, Goku pull out some combos. I see you, I see you. Through his fight with Majin Buu, Goku was revived. He now spends his days training so he can get even stronger. However, he is soon to encounter a new and even more powerful enemy. While Goku is training, the God of Destruction, Lord Beerus, shows up to Boma's birthday party, apparently in search of a Super Saiyan God. No one stands a chance against Beerus, who has the power to destroy everything. Oh, we getting the Super Saiyan God? Oh, dang, so we just skipped everything as far as the bits of life. With the help of his family and friends, Goku awakens a Super Saiyan God and takes Earth's fate in his hands as he steps up to the plate against Beerus. Let's go, Lord Beerus, you and me. But if I win, you have to leave this planet untouched. Deal? Very untouched. Well, I accept that whole terms, land will get in touch. But know this. None untouched. In this <laughs> Let me that whole land will get touched up. Beerus the Destroyer. Can you create scenes like this? I'm not done yet. I don't think you can create scenes like this up in a uh, custom battle, can you? At least I haven't seen the options to do stuff like this. Yes! I wish like everything that you could do up in these scenes right here, you could like recreate in custom battles as well. Goku has been beaten down, but he's not out yet. Holding on to holding on tight to his will to fight, he rides to face Beerus once more. Yo, what do y'all think about the custom battles uh, already? For those of y'all who have either created some or played in some, what do y'all think the about them? Oh, snap. Work? I don't know. It sure seemed like it So, did. I actually... I can't sense my dad's um, I ended up seeing somebody uh, say a while back, like, what do they think there is to... Dang, it's a lot of banishment. What do they think there is to do... My bad. <laughs> What do they think there is to do besides um, custom battle and, you know, uh, PvP battles? And they were like kind of complaining about the uh, the game in that way. And me personally, I don't understand that because ain't that every anime game, if you think about it? Like, you know, either way, whether it's custom battle or playing against people, you still gonna be fighting, so. I don't ex under ex understand exactly what was asked. I'm getting beat up here. Oh, I got a lot more help than I thought I would. Super counters is still something I'm still learning right now. I've been playing a lot of ranks. Um, I made it up to B2. I want to say I just dropped down to B3 yesterday. Um, but yeah, so back what I was saying, yeah, I don't understand what else is there to do other than fight against people. You know, whether, let's say even if there, there was a different, there it goes. Oh, I forgot if I'm playing like offline, it's a lot easier to do because I don't have to worry about delay and stuff like that. I did that just so I could charge faster. There we go. Mm. Mm. There we go. Yeah, so, dang, oh, okay. Even, even if there was like, even if there, I keep trying to, I get cut myself off. I hate when I do that. But even if there was uh, other modes, technically you'd be doing the same thing, right? I thought I could vanish that. I'm over here using online timing because I'm so used to doing ranked at this point. I like how the, I can tell that the AI got stronger over the, um, I missed that. This shit hit. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I forgot what I was trying to say. I know that's annoying. <laughs> but, uh... Well, I had a feeling. This this AI is actually fighting a lot harder than, uh... Than the previous ones. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I'm dead. Wait, what just happened? Oh, time ran out. Oh, okay. 
Are <laughs> you always this talkative? I forgot you that the fights usually go um, to like certain points. I don't even know if you can defeat Beerus here. You know, like once I get done with the story mode, I'm actually going to go back and like make sure that I got every path available. At first, I wasn't going to do any more story mode on the channel and just do rank. But I was like, yeah, that's wasted content. Might as well just go ahead and do it. Although Goku did not come out on top, his impressive attempt left an impression. Beerus and his companion leave without destroying the earth. A short while later, Vegeta and Goku train with Whis, Beerus' attendant who is also a teacher. Both awaken their Super Saiyan gods, Super Saiyan forms, and this incredible power. That name is so stupid. <laughs> that name is so stupid. However, back on Earth, Frieza has been resurrected by the Dragon Balls and brings an army to Earth to take revenge on Goku. Gohan tries to stop Frieza, but he is no match for Frieza's new and improved strength. By the time Bulma's SOS reaches Goku and Vegeta, Piccolo is already dead, and things aren't looking much better for Gohan. However, Earth is far too distant from the planet where his father is for Gohan to sense any key, meaning he cannot travel by instant transmission. Why was I having so much trouble reading that? But just as all seems lost, Gohan summons the last of his strength to enhance his key, and Goku is finally able to sense him. Using instant transmission, he goes to face Frieza once again. Hey, Vegeta. Sorry, but I've got to run. Wait, what? Ugh, fine. Do whatever you want, as usual. It occurs to me. I suppose I should thank you. Thank me? What in the world for? What does he mean by run? Where, where does he get? He got to go somewhere? For years, my every step, my every breath has been motivated by a single desire. Revenge. Also, y'all can quote me here. This outfit here and the one that he wears in Dragon Ball Diamond is the my best outfits for Goku, in my opinion. Enough to hold the universe by its throat. I actually hope they give Adult Goku the, the Daima outfit. I know they gave us a power pole, but I wish they would have like just given the whole Daima outfit. To a pathetic Saiyan. It consumed me. The humiliation was too much to bear. Enough. Get to the point. Speaking of Daima, have y'all been keeping up with it? Yo, I, I actually been enjoying my time with it. Um, I didn't expect to like it as much I as I did, you first. but I love the, the pacing of it and everything. It feels like it's kind of like an adventure type um type of anime, which I'm really into. I like seeing Ooh. I like seeing like world building and stuff like that. I really got to get my super counters down. Oh, snap. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, stop listening to the dialogue when we're just fighting. But um, I, I can actually see um something like Daima turning into a RPG in the future. If it does, I think that... If it does, I think that actually be very good for it. Like, because the way it's going right now, it just... It has so much... Um, RPG potential. Speaking of, I know that um, I know they're going to be bringing. I think I just got hit here. Oh no, I didn't. I know. I know they're bringing uh, the game to. Dang, he is moving. <laughs> I'm surprised he let me use Kaioken here. Oh, I thought I got behind him already. I know they're bringing uh, Daima to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, you know, so that's kind of adventurous. Um, I'm hoping that they, the way they do it, it makes it actually feel like an RPG and not just the same game, but with a different map. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Now, if they actually do that, I have no idea. Do, do any of y'all still play uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, by the way? One of the things that was messing me up a lot when I first started playing this game is um, I was going to play the, the old Tenkaichi games to get ready for this, but I didn't. I was like, I'm just going to wait until um, the game comes out to play it. So what I was doing, I was playing a lot of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and I was playing some Xenoverse. So I ended up like getting a lot of my controls confused when I was playing. But um, for any, for any of y'all who played a lot of Xenoverse or Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, let me know down below because I actually customize my settings to the point where it works for people who play stuff like that. And like, it's like I'm using standard, but I customize different buttons to suit what I'm trying to do a lot more. 
If y'all are interested in that, I'll probably make a video on like how I got my settings. Goku and Freezer are locked in another mortal battle to sell everything. Oh my god, I didn't even catch up with that. <laughs> Damn, I'm hard! <laughs> you, you fool! <laughs> he slapped the gold off Once of him! <laughs> uh. I couldn't have put it better myself! I wonder how they're gonna do this scene since they don't have Sorbet in here. Is that weird that I remember like background characters' names like that? Spotting an opening freezer sees this chance to destroy Earth. Oh, okay, so they're just like completely foregoing the Sorbet thing. Oh yeah, yeah, they just skipped the Sorbet thing. So Vegeta, what, never got his chance to fight here? But before he can, Goku realize what he's doing, the fires the Kamehameha at him. I hate the Kamehameha thing. I know I don't they don't even say that in the anime anymore. They say Kamehameha now. Kamehameha! Say you're a nineties baby without saying you're a nineties baby. Uh Okay, here we go. Oh wow, the super part is going really fast. After Frieza's defeated, Beerus' twin brother Champa appears. And Goku and his friends get caught up in an argument between the two brothers. They then learn that there are a total of 12 universes with theirs called Universe 7. Moreover, there are also apparently exists Super Dragon Ball's Universe 6 Champa's home as well as Universe 7. I remember when everybody like heard about the universes becoming a thing, like multiple universes, they were all like, oh, baby, now GT become a thing, but it's not the way it works here. These Super Dragon Balls can be used to summon a uh, Super Shinra who possess the ability to grant any wish completely free of all restrictions. It is these Dragon Balls that are put up as a prize for a new tournament that will be held, the Tournament of Destroyers. At the end of many ferociously fought matches, Goku and the others emerge victorious. I wonder if they're gonna put Bergamo and um, Majeta, is it Majeta? I forgot his name. After being noticed by a powerful being, it is decided that Goku and his friends shall meet with the ruler of all universes, Zeno. I almost said Zeno. I was actually just watching his stream a little while ago. <laughs> uh, it, this meeting that which changes everything. Wow, struggling there. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. You can also catch more Sparking Zero videos on your screen right now to hold you over until my next video. Thanks for watching. My name is Inada, and we out here making major moves.